I have a few spots on my teeth. I think we're hitting a uh, multi-faceted, I guess issue is the word. Good morning guys, it's been a busy morning. Part of the reason is Mary and I are headed out of town soon, like in a number of days, and I'm working on passing off a lot of the things that I do on a week to week basis, specifically for our church, and so I've just been, I had a meeting this morning and have been working on the computer, on some of the behind the scenes tech stuff that I do and just trying to get everything that there's just like an amazing team of people who are just taking on all the things that I normally do on a week to week basis and it's um, pretty sweet and amazing. Kind of be a team in this season as Mary and I head off and are gonna be um, away for a while. And so it's exciting times, it's busy times. We're working on getting the house squared away. We worked on packing our bags last night. We're gonna have somebody stay here at the house with our animals while we are away. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we are in the process of adoption and we are traveling out of state. We'll be out of town for a few weeks anticipating the birth. It's exciting times, but leading up to it, we are getting all the things done. And one of the things we're gonna do is run to the dentist here in just a few minutes. And my tooth started feeling weird. And I was like, eh. So I don't know if I have a cavity. I had one cavity when I was like 14. And I don't really remember what that felt like. I don't know if it felt like anything. Anyway, I just, started feeling this weird feeling in my tooth. So I called the dentist this morning and they were able to get me in to see the dentist, not to get a cleaning, but to see the dentist. And I was like, fine with me. So we were like, if we can get this done before we head out of town, that would be amazing. So we're gonna go see what the dentist says and keep doing the next thing. Okay, so we just pulled up to the dentist and we're like 10 minutes early, so it just happens to be next door to the grocery store where we fill Harry's prescription. Amazing. And I called to refill his prescription like a couple hours ago. Wow. How perfect. I couldn't have planned that if I tried. Let's go get his prescription. Cause I'm trying to get like a few weeks worth pill balled up. I put them in the little pill pockets. So um, I was doing that this morning and we don't vlog in public very often and I'm just now realizing that I'm getting the looks, the looks that you get when you're vlogging in public. Yeah, I'm picking up for Harry Fry, F-R-U-I. Uh, January 13 of 13. Okay. I think. It's a cat. Fastest it's ever been, thank you. Okay, on the way here, my blood sugar was just starting to get a little bit low and I was like, oh, I don't, he's already laughing. And I was like, I don't want to have to be like, I need to go ahead and treat so it doesn't get lower. But then I was like, ah, I'm on the way to the dentist. Like, I don't want to be chewing a glucose tab on the way to the dentist, right? My teeth would just be like literally filled with sugar. So I was like, oh, I'll just try to swallow one of the gummy glucose tabs. It is covered in sugar, so it might be a little scratchy going down. So I'm like, babe, I'm gonna try this, okay? So I pop it in my mouth and I take a drink of water and like instantly it's like stuck right here. And I was like, I'm fine. My body's like swallow, 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 swallow. <laughs> This is not feeling good. Anyway, I took another drink of water. It went down, but I said to Peter, 10 out of 10, do not recommend <laughs> swallowing glucose tabs whole. Now it was the gummy one, so it was a little smaller in diameter than the like chalky ones. Don't do it. I guess next time maybe wash off the sugary outside. You know? It would help slightly, yes. It would slide, it would slide easier. Yes, that's true. Uh, I did it so that you guys don't have to. You are welcome. Ooh, all right. Um, Ooh. 
I think the bottom line of the appointment was that I think we're hitting a uh, multi faceted I guess issue is the word but ultimately it's okay um, I think that Trikafta, you remember guys when I went to the eye doctor and the eye doctor was like, your eyes are unusually dry. And I was like, oh really? And we talked about how Trikafta is, causes some drying out. Obviously we know it dries out my lungs in a good way. Mm -hmm. Less mucus, hallelujah. Um, but then it kind of makes sense that my eyes are dry. Mm -hmm. So, I have a few spots on my teeth, like my back teeth, that are starting with cavities. Um, it's nothing urgent, thankfully, since we are heading out of town really soon. But, yeah, we talked about the reality that Trikafta is probably um, causing a bit of a drying out effect, mm -hmm. which can make cavities more prone. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, with Trikafta, my blood sugar goes lower, which then necessitates fixing the lower blood sugar, which necessitates at least like glucose tablets because they're made with dextrose are the quickest fix for a low blood sugar. And the easiest for you to do. Yes, That's certainly. A, yeah. It's easier than um, carrying apple juice around at all times. And anyway, so, drier mouth mixed with lower blood sugars equals fixing those low blood sugars. You can't brush your teeth every time you're out and you um, have to fix your low blood sugar. Anyway, he was basically like, it all kind of makes sense, but let's just um, he was keep like, an eye on it. And yeah, he was like, nothing's urgent, so we'll touch base once we're back in town. And he was like, so like sweet and congratulating us that we are stepping into adoption, so. yeah. We are, I'm glad we went. I'm glad that, Yep. yeah, I mean, it's ultimately it's kind of a bummer, but it is totally 1 million percent worth it to deal with some cavities or future cavities um, to be able to breathe and live and thrive. And all right, that was another check mark off the list all right all right let's go home all right we made it home i've got harry's pills and i am so excited i think in a couple of days or today i don't know soon in a few days we're gonna put a car seat in the car and we're just so excited about it oh hi thumper what a happy boy! Thumper, thumper! Hi! You are such a good boy! Did you have a good nap? Thumper, thumper! We just worked in the working room and we completed all of the orders. We filled all the orders and it's so, so crazy that the next time we're in this room filling orders, we're gonna have another person in our home. It feels monumental. It's crazy. I just updated the store. We have taken a bunch of stuff off of the store. Basically anything that we ship ourselves has been taken off of the store for Since a- Since we won't be here yeah. to send it to you for a short period of time. So for the next few weeks, we're gonna have a limited selection of apparel still available in our store. Yep. Um, you are welcome and we invite you, like that's an amazing way to support us while we have our store scaled back if you yep. wanna order apparel during this time. Another way you can support our store in the next few weeks until we ramp it back up is you could buy a gift card because we will have some new products. We already have some new products. I'm thinking about doing like a little sneak peek. Oh. Is that a good idea? I don't know. Dude, okay, it'll be like, if you wanna get yourself a gift card, yeah. here's what you're looking at. 
Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do it. Okay, all right, she's doing it. We did not have a discussion about this, but you know, whatever. We are excited for the new year. We have a lot of things in the works. Oh, that's actually, I think that's gonna be a different, well, maybe it won't be diff different. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> Here is one thing that's in the works. Okay, so it's the same hoodie. Peter did the mustard colored one and then the forest one. And now this one is a highlighter coral. This lighting, uh, that's pretty close right there. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. like a fluorescent, think beach shop hoodie. Yes. Um, and I, I think we might offer, maybe we'll offer this design and another. another. Uh, we have a new design yeah. that we are excited to launch. Are you going to show them? Uh -huh. Oh my uh -huh. goodness. Okay, so if you, if this is what I'm showing you. I'm showing you the new mug. This is a ceramic mug. Um, so if you are looking forward to these items, please feel free to get yourself a gift card or get a gift card for somebody else. And these are some of the new things coming. In the new year. Yes. So, thank you guys. We are just the end of every year on our online store as we kind of wrap things up before Christmas. I'm just reminded of how grateful I am for all you guys supporting us in that way throughout the year. And it's at the end of the year that we make our donation. Um, we tally up all of the profits from the store and we make a huge donation to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. 10% of the proceeds we send their way. So yeah. we are grateful for you guys and grateful yeah. for another season of fry lifing. Yeah. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Good night. Good night, Bonesy boy. Good night. Good night, Harry. You're about to walk on the printer. <laughs>